Hey guys, welcome to Code Talk. Today I am going to share with you guys the question bank which I referred to crack the Infosys interview for the power program role. The same questions have been repeating over the last few years. Before moving on, I just wanted to tell you guys that I have created a video where I have mentioned my own interview experience for the role of power programmer and how I cracked it. All the questions that I encountered are mentioned in the video and the link for that is in the top right corner of your screen and even in the description. So after watching this video, do watch that video. So this is the mail which I received after I cracked the pre-placement interview for Hack with Envy. So let's jump on. The first data structure is the graphs. So starting with the graph data structure, you should know both the techniques in which you can create a graph with adjacency list and adjacency matrix. You should know, I mean that you should know how to code it from scratch. In this interview, especially for the power programmer role, you guys need to write the code from scratch which is executable. Then you should know the famous algorithm such as the Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm and the spanning tree algorithm such as Kruskal and Prims. The Kruskal and Prims algorithm are not asked for uh, implementation, but you should know the theory. The graph coding problems you need to code it. Check if the graph contains cycle, number of islands, and the rotten oranges. These are the new questions now which are getting day by day famous which for the interviews. The rotten oranges problem can be twisted in the form of the coronavirus cases and asked to you guys. And the lastly, the applications of graph. Now, while telling about the applications of graph, please do mention about the Google Maps. Okay, that will create a huge impact on the interviewer. Moving on with the trees, the basic thing you need to know is the insertion and deletion in a BST. Then the depth of the tree, both the minimum and the maximum. And then the tree traversals. Most of the times the question are the tree traversals or the views of the tree. You should know the traversals such as in order, pre-order, post-order, zigzag, vertical and level order. And the views of the tree such as left, right, bottom and top. The in order successor and prede predecessors are also now famous problems. Then you should know the theory about the balanced BST trees such as evil tree and red black tree. There are very less chances that they might tell you to implement this, but you should know the theory. Then convert a tree to its mirror tree or you have to check whether you will be provided with two trees. Or the interviewer might say that create two trees and check if these two trees are mirror images of each other or not. Then a theoretical question that difference between B and B plus tree. And then again, the applications of trees. Try to give some real world applications. Jumping to the link list, you should know the creation of all the types of link list single, double, and circular link list. In circular link list, you should know the single circular and doubly circular. Then the deletion of a node in link list. Now, this is a new question which is getting famous that deletion of a node in the link list provided a random pointer. It means that you will be given a pointer to a particular node and you have to delete that to node. You don't need to traverse or do anything. Okay, then comes check if a link list contains a cycle. Then find the middle element of a link list using the two pointers approach. Sort the link list using merge sort. Reverse a link list. Reverse a link list in the group of K. It means that suppose you are given six elements, then you need to reverse the first two, then the third and the fourth, then the fifth and the sixth. Not the whole link list in one go. And the nth node from the end of a link list. You also have to solve this question in an efficient way. Then add two numbers represented in link list. You need to, there are two techniques actually for solving this problem while reversing the link list and while not reversing the link list. It all depends on the interviewer how they want it to be done.
Then the last one is check if the linked list is palindromic. There are many ways in solving this question. Just provide your way, approach the easiest one. If the interview is satisfied, implement that. And lastly, the application of linked list. While mentioning the applications of linked list, do mention about the Google Chrome. Whenever you're using Google Chrome and the forward and the backward button on Google Chrome, they are actually linked. So you can even provide that real world example. Jumping to the stack and queues, there are not much questions available on that. Just the creation of stack using array and creation of stack using queues, but you don't have to use any inbuilt function. And then the famous problem, check for valid parentheses. Coming to the queues, creation of queue and even the doubly ended queue, creation of queue using stack, then applications of stack and queues. Now, if you guys might know the operating systems, then the queues are used for job scheduling. You must mention this if he asks you the applications of queue. And for stack, as you know, the recursion, during recursion calls, the stack is used as in the memory. So if you guys mention that, that this is going to create a huge impact on the interviewer. Now coming to the DP problems, now power programmer role, a DP problem is expected most of the times. They ask you the standard problems, okay, like the knapsack problem, the coin chain problem, traveling salesman problem is not asked most of the times, but it is a rare one. The longest palindromic substring and even subsequence. These are just the tweaked one of each other. Okay, almost similar you can say. And the Fibonacci series, Fib there are many ways of implementing Fibonacci series, but in DP is the most efficient one. And then the factorial of a number. All right. Then you guys must know all the sorting and searching algorithms, how they are implemented and their time complexities. Okay, please pause the video if you want and have a look at this. What all you need to learn. All right. I will move forward. Now, this is the last part. Okay, last part which you need to know for the coding rounds. Means the coding questions which will be asked in your interviews. String, array and the miscellaneous problems. Like all the permutations of the string. This was the problem which I encountered in my interview. And reverse an array or reverse a string. Now this can be done with extra space and without extra space. So try to give the efficient approach in the first go. All right, then print all the sub array of all the sub strings of string or array, whatever, and sum of all the sub arrays. Now there is a formula for this problem. Sum of all the sub arrays. Please try to provide that. All right. Then the cadence algorithm, this is the most famous algorithm when it comes to arrays. The water trapping problem, this is also a famous one. Now prime numbers. This is a very optimized approach in checking if a number is prime or not. You guys must know this algorithm. All right, please do check this out. Then rotate a matrix by 90 degree. And the Deutsch national flag. This is also a sorting algorithm, but it is performed in less time complexity than n log n and it has also some characteristics special characteristics please do check it out and then convert an array to its negative base 2 this is not a commonly asked question but yet do this then comes count the longest possible sub array with the sum not divisible by k find the common elements between two arrays now this can be done in many ways all right Find the second maximum element from the array. The efficient approach, not using uh, like two loops back to back. You need to do this in one go. All right. Check if the string is palindromic and given an integer, print the next smallest palindrome. So these are all the coding questions which you need to do. You need to type this code on your own, practice them because the coding interview revolves around only this okay and these are the repeated questions over the last few years now i have not included the theory questions related to the subjects but i have created a text file in which i have mentioned the links which i referred during my interview preparation and i am providing it to you guys 
the link is present in the description do visit that file and check the links all right now <coughs> coming to the hr interview now the hr interview the standard question is introduce yourself this is the point where you play your cards whenever you receive the mail for an interview please do check his profile on linkedin and then you can come to know his skill sets and go towards his skill sets all right then tell me about any one of your projects and can you demonstrate your project if the interview asks you this please make the full use of this question and try to explain him each and every detail of that particular project then he can ask you about the previous coding rounds your goals in the next 5 years or 10 years then details about the companies and your strengths and weaknesses all right if you guys are preparing for placements then you guys must follow the instagram page code dork where i personally post the interview questions asked in the various companies all right if you guys think this content is useful to you guys please like this video subscribe to this channel and stay safe